You see it here. It is the mirrored vertical bands, hex nuts, mirrored lip treatment, and also a decorative rail on the front edge. You're also going to notice that this hood is oversized to the cooking equipment. The cooking equipment is 36 inches wide. The hood is 42 inches wide. That's because Vena Hood gives a better smoke and grease extraction guarantee if you oversize the hood to the cooking equipment. All right, guys, so this is the fun part that we get to determine what JDH model is going to fit your project. So we're going to just start here with the 300 CFM models. In this single blower design, we only have three types available, the 36-inch width, 42-inch width, and 48-inch width. Keep in mind, it has to be the ASA, as seen in advertising abbreviation, in order to have those mirrored vertical bands, hex nuts, mirrored lip treatment, and the decorative rail. So this calls out for a six inch diameter exhaust pipe. You can get Vena Hood's high flow roof caps. You've got to know the pitch or steepness of your roof to determine which of these two models is going to work, VP539 or VP539HP. If you vent out the side of your house, you're going to use the VP526 high flow wall cap from Vena Hood. You can back vent this unit from inside the body of the hood. On this one, you're just going to be able to use an articulating elbow, and Vena Hood's VP526 high flow wall cap. So we're moving right along to the double blower in the 600 CFM. These sizes available are 36 inch width, 42 inch width, and 48 inch width. This one is double blower 600 CFM. You're gonna need an eight inch diameter pipe to exhaust the air from your home. Again, we have four different, two different roof caps available depending on the pitch of the roof and the wall louver for venting out the side of the house, high flow, VP528. You can use Vena Hood's back vent elbow inside of this hood. It's called a VP561. You're gonna use that in combination with a wall cap called the VP538 is available on this model. Now we're moving into the bigger hoods. It gets a little more complicated here because we got three blowers inside. Now Vena Hood has a, what we call a transition. That model number is VP562. What does it do? It takes an eight inch round and a six inch round, combines it into one 10 inch round. Now you have to have room for a 10 inch round duct to go from the top of that hood to the exterior of the home. A lot of times what we see is contractors can reduce the size of that pipe improperly and it'll cut performance on this hood. Uh, you're going to want to watch my videos, Ducting Do's and Don'ts, part one and two, to find out how much loss you're going to get, how much suction loss, uh, based on how much, how many sizes they diminish the pipe to. Uh, in this model, 900 CFM, you have three widths available, 48-inch width, 54-inch width, 60-inch width, and it's going to require this big 10-inch duct pipe and the VP562 transition. They have a roof cap for this, high flow, two different sizes, depending on how steep your roof is. Uh, we just caution you not to reduce the pipe and police your contractors that they don't reduce the pipe so that you don't end up in a situation that's not covered under warranty. On um, the wall louvers, if you, if you can't fit this 10 inch pipe in your rafters, and, you know, in some cases, the contractor might need to cut out drywall before you even order this product to see which direction your beams are facing in your attic space to understand if a 10 inch duct can even clear based on where you're installing the hood for this duct to go up into your attic. Uh, if they're running the wrong direction, you might not be able to back vent. So if you have to run two separate ducts, that's your other option with this if you can't run the 10 and these wall louvers, Vena Hood offers the 526, 528. As you can see, we're running on this lower diagram here, an eight inch diameter pipe and a six inch diameter pipe. And your roof caps are gonna be a combination of the um, two different pitches available for both the six and the eight if you decide to go that route. Moving on to the largest of the JDHC2s, uh, we're looking at a 1200 CFM variety. You've got a 54 inch, a 60 inch, and a 66 inch wide. Big 1200 CFM, tons of exhaust power. Uh, so essentially you need to use the VP563 transition. So here we have roof caps available depending on the steep 
how steep the roof is. You've got your options here, the VP553, VP553 HP. They even have a giant wall louver, a VP555, all available at venohoodparts.com. And uh, here we have down below what you can do if you can't run the large 12. You can run two individual 8-inch runs there. And you have the VP528 if you decide to go out the side of the house or the back wall of the house. And two different roof caps for that 8-inch diameter pipe. We do get messages from customers that say, well, I don't have an 8-foot ceiling and I really want this hood. Well, you're in luck. We can make duck covers for this hood but the factory's got to make them at the same time they make the hood. So your lead time's going to be a minimum of 12 weeks, and if the factory's backed up, it could take as long as 16. Write us on our email forum. We'll tell you how long the current lead time is to order the hood with the duck cover. Our last stop today is ventahoodparts.com. You're going to click on the category transitions, wall louvers, roof caps. There you're going to find all the manufacturers, installation accessories, including the back vent elbow, including high flow wall louvers and roof caps. Top right hand corner of the screen, you can click a link that'll take you to our email form. That is where you can ask us questions, lead time, cost, availability. We are awaiting your questions. Thank you.